reason that I'm here and the reason that I am um, quite knowledgeable in this area is that I had a, a spinal cord injury um, in August of 2008. Um, I had a C6 complete injury, leaving me paralyzed from the chest down. Um, I come from a reasonably technical background and uh, once this had happened, I, I started um, researching the science and learning about the facts and the realities of, of prospects for uh, functional recovery. People who want to be involved in the debate on stem cells um, and regenerative medicine need to educate themselves very carefully. And there's a lot of uh, incendiary imagery out there and um, a lot of people who try and essentially hijack the debate on this and they're a very vocal minority. But I think that if people really focus on learning the internet of the science and the technology, which uh, the Irish Stem Cell Foundation is, is trying to promote, we can all come to decisions that, that are very, um, that are progressive and that will lead to, uh, you know, possible functional cure or cures for people who have diseases in the future. I think it's, it's very important that we, the patients, actively get involved in learning about this technology and actually you know raising money uh, and raising awareness to um, fund this science and fund the research uh, we are the only people who are really motivated to make these potential cures happen uh, scientists and even the doctors aren't as motivated as we are patients get involved and the patients push this forward and um, we have potential access to, to, to large sums of money we can raise large sums of money and that money can go towards the science there are certain dichotomies between people who believe in care and believe in cure I don't see there being a difference I think that they both are complementary quite very extremely optimistic about what's coming down the line. There's a number of therapies in the clinic at the moment are, uh, in, sorry, I'm sorry, not in, in the clinic, but going, moving towards clinical trials. And this is the first time um, this has happened for spinal cord injury. These things are happening, these things are moving towards clinical trials in the next couple of years. And it, it's really quite exciting when you, when you see what these things are capable of doing. Something else that I'd like to talk about is the these scams that are out there. Uh, for spinal cord injuries, it's estimated that over 400 million US dollars were spent in the last 10 years by spinal cord patients alone going for these things. Now imagine that money had gone towards research and had gone towards making these things actually, you know, help patients in the real world. I think you can see that, you know, we'd be, we'd be a good bit further down the line. Now, in Ireland, we are a number of years behind the global consensus on regenerative medicine and stem cell medicine. And I think that we need to step up and, you know, stop being behind the world on this and start trying to lead the world on this. There's such, there's such a big opportunity with, um, with stem, stem cell medicine and regenerative medicine um, from an economic perspective that we really should be jumping on this bandwagon and, and moving forward. Financial impact that um, life sciences have in Ireland. And in the future, pharma companies will be moving towards putting more and more money into regenerative medicine. And if, we're not, if we don't have legislation that supports um, this kind of technology, we will fall behind in this. California has actively gone out and said that they are going to fund regenerative medicine. Irish Exporters Association uh, report from 2009, we spent, or we produced 53 billion dollars worth, euros worth of exports in life sciences in 2009 alone. Uh, this represents 60 percent of all merchandise exports in Ireland. Now pharma will be moving more and more in the coming years towards regenerative medicine and if we don't legislate actively and support this kind of stuff we're risking falling behind it we need to push forward and support uh, the legislation to make this um, space somewhere that farmer wants to come back and, and, and invest in, in Ireland
Thank you very much for uh, turning out today.